Hello. And so the end is coming closer and we've arrived at our last video session together, headed towards Palm Sunday. We know how the story is going to finish, the entry into Jerusalem, the arrest, trial and death, and then resurrection. It's a lot to think about, talk about, pray about. So remember all the opportunities for that to happen in the longing for home journey. Meditations in the Book of Reflections, through the Facebook community, in your home congregation. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, talk about longing for home. It almost feels as if Jesus has been circling around this holy city forever. Born in Bethlehem, raised in Nazareth, the kind of backwater town where people say, can anything good come from Nazareth? Then ministry up in Galilee. But now, this journey that began with heading into the wilderness ends with entering the city. Ah, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, this year, next year, Jerusalem. But this is the moment. Which means what? Well, Jerusalem is the place where political, religious, and military power are centered. And it's where Jesus needs to show up. Oh, he knows the risk. In fact, he's been talking about the danger all along the way. It must have been tempting to back away, to not give offense, to not rock the boat, but that wasn't his style. Because the Jesus way isn't just about individual transformation, healing, acceptance, forgiveness. Oh, it is that. And each one of us is challenged and loved into new ways of living and being. But it's also about the city, the community, the way we live together, how we organize our social structures. It's about the realm of God, about money, government, policy, peace, community. In going to Jerusalem, Jesus is choosing to make a political statement, rendering unto God what is God's. When Jesus rides into Jerusalem, he is acting as a prophet, proclaiming the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the good news, proclaiming not just at the Jordan River, not just up north in Galilee, but in the very heart of the nation. So a question for you and me, for each one of us, where is the place that we need to show up? Where are we being challenged to speak truth to power, to raise issues, to take a risk, to demand change? I think of Chief Teresa Spence pitching her tent in the heart of Ottawa and embarking on a fast in order to draw attention to the plight of Aboriginal people in Attawapiskat. I think of people showing up in front of downtown stores to protest the selling of products made by Israeli companies located in Palestinian West Bank. I think of the Occupy Wall Street movement and its spread throughout Canadian cities asking questions about how wealth gets shared in our society. Or what about the protest march through New York last fall and all over the place when the UN summit on the environment was happening? Or could it be people reaching out to Muslim neighbors in bad times? Or United Church women in Alberta heading up to the government offices in Edmonton, standing up for kids living in poverty? Or perhaps protesters getting arrested for confronting Kinder Morgan pipeline exploration on Burnaby Mountain in the Malore mainland of BC? Or, well, what about you? Where do you feel you are being called to show up and speak out. But watch how Jesus does this, small scale really, on a donkey, a, a favorite Palm Sunday character with echoes of the prophet Zechariah. But hey, let's not romanticize this. Sure, some disciples spread branches and cloaks around, but scholars suggest that it was actually a small demo, not a big deal. If Jesus had wanted to make a grand statement, he could have jumped off the top of the temple turned the stones into bread, called on legions of angels, but he didn't. And he doesn't want his followers to do so either. Which says something about the way Jesus treats power. Jesus in contrast to Pilate, in contrast to Herod, in contrast to Caiaphas. His is the way of vulnerability, humility, suffering, sacrifice, love, the servant way. I am reminded of some words from the Canadian writer Rudy Weeb from his novel The Blue Mountains of China, where he says, Jesus says in his society, 
there is a new way for people to live. You show wisdom by trusting people. You handle leadership by serving. You handle offenders by forgiving. You handle money by sharing. You handle enemies by loving. You handle violence by suffering because this is a Jesus society. So where are you in the parade? Right there beside Jesus on your own donkey? Or a bit more removed but still cheering and shouting Hosanna? Or on the sidelines, worried, shaking your head, wondering where this is all going to end up, hoping there won't be real trouble, thinking religion and politics shouldn't mix? Where are you in the parade? And what is going to happen next?